This is my address, and I feel a little bit uncomfortable showing it to everybody on the screen. Wouldn't you? How would you feel then if I told you that AI coding assistants also leak your private code? And who knows what happens to your company's private API keys that you might have just pasted into your code temporarily. Come on, you know you've done that before. Using Wireshark, a tool that tracks network traffic, I observed frequent data exchanges between my computer and GitHub servers while using GitHub Copilot. An AI coding assistant, you might have heard of it in the last couple of years. And yes, some of that data is my code leaving my machine. Bye data. Yeah. By the way, this isn't my real address. It's a fake physical address generated by an AI coding assistant. They're really good at generating fake data like this. At least, I hope it's fake. But what if it's not? What if this AI generated API key actually belongs to somebody who didn't secure their code properly? If it's not a private key, it could be intellectual property or other sensitive data from your company that's being transmitted. Look, the bottom line is that software developers are becoming acutely aware of what happens to their code and are being more careful about using AI coding assistance for privacy, safety, and legal reasons. This brings us to tab nine. This video is sponsored by them, but they've allowed me complete editorial freedom and haven't previewed this video, which is a testament to their confidence in their product. And I'll point out its strengths and some areas that need improvement. Firstly, tab nine IDE support is extensive. Look at all these, VS Code, let's see if I know all these. WS, WebStorm, Visual Studio, PC, PyCharm, Go, IntelliJ, RM, is that a Ruby thing? Eclipse. Does anybody use Eclipse anymore? PSCL, I don't know what those are. NeoVim and Android Studio, what? No notepad? Now I'll be using VS Code with the tab nine extension installed. The extension gives me this little tab nine menu bar. And of course you can do all the regular stuff like chat. There I got a JavaScript file. I'm gonna say create a calculator class. Here you go. And let's insert that right there. Got add, subtract, multiply, divide. Of course it can do completions, somewhat helpful. We've got all these little tab nine functions right above your code. Ask, document, explain, test is a nice one. When you click that, it writes test cases for this code. But here's what sets it apart. I've unplugged my ethernet cable and I've turned Wi-Fi off. This computer is now completely disconnected. Now what? Can you still do it? Square root. Yes, that actually works. Let's call it square root and square root of four. Node index, well, we gotta return this. When you're disconnected and using local model, which I'm about to show you, you still have to start things up for it. And there we go, two. Oh my gosh, it still works. How does it do that? Now I've turned Copilot on. Let's try Modulo. Yes, Copilot works. What about our little trick, huh? Let's unplug it, turn Wi-Fi off. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Modulo, wait, what? Factorial. Nope, it needs that connection. Why is it that Copilot doesn't work, but tab nine does? Well, Copilot always requires the internet connection and sends your information out to GitHub. By the way, VS Code is a little wacky too when you don't have the internet access. Extensions, Copilot error while fetching extensions offline. I'm trying to find the installed ones, come on. That was not part of the video. Let's install tab nine again. And here's where we access some settings. Tab nine, you open the hub. This is where you manage the whole thing. First of all, there's a starter package, which is completely free. I'll get into that in a second. There's the pro package, which has whole line completions, full function code completions, natural language to code completions, and it learns your coding patterns and style. So if your company has certain guidelines for code style, this can learn it. But if you go under settings, this is what I'm talking about. So I have local machine turned on right now. There's also hybrid mode. We've got the advanced completions, advanced generation, but local machine is a little bit different. It's a small model and everything runs on your machine. Nothing leaves it. Now, sometimes you have to wonder, are you the product? Well, in this case, you know you're not. Going back to the tab nine homepage, you can start for free. And this is the plans and pricing page. I'll give you a little hint. If you go all the way down here, there's the basic plan, which is completely free free for everyone. This is the fully private AI coding assistant running locally on your machine. Basic AI completions, completely air gapped for privacy and security and community support available. This is how you can start too. And that's how I started. A little side story. I started using it years before Copilot was even a thing. Yes, that's how long they've been around. So you can say they have a little bit of experience in this game. Now, let me give you a slightly different order that you could go. The pro version, this is the one with whole line completions, full function code completions, natural language to code, and it learns your coding style. It's got all these other features. This comes with a free 90 day trial, 90 days. 
you can build five startups in that time. What are you waiting for? So is tab nine worth it? Well, at least it's worth trying since there's a 90 day free trial for the pro version and you can switch to the basic after that, which is totally free. Now, I've been on Copilot for a few years now, but I'm more and more concerned about whether the generated code is legit or what code that I'm writing for a client is leaving my computer and going somewhere else and trading some other models. So if you also care about privacy and legality, you may want to give tab nine a try. One thing to note though, is that the quality of suggestions that I've seen on the basic tier with just the local model is somewhat limited, which brings me to what I'd like to see improved. The local LLM does have completions, but they aren't like advanced completions you get with a hybrid model. So I'd like to see local models only to be able to generate entire code blocks too. However, the saving grace here is that unlike Copilot, which sends both code snippets and user engagement data to Microsoft, Tab9 ensures an air gap between your code and their models. Tab9 never retains your code, shares your code, or trains on your code. And that takes care of the privacy bit. There's also the legality bit. We've had questions whether it's legal to use certain code that, uh, let's say, GitHub trained on. Well, Tab9 takes care of that by using only the chat models that were trained on open source with permissive licenses. Not only that, but you also have the ability to switch chat to different models, like some of the more modern ones, like Mistral. So you have flexibility there, and you also have the protection. AI and code generation is something pretty new, so we're still learning to adapt to it. But I like where this is headed. And Tab9 prioritizes security and transparency. They share how the models are developed and ensure that the training involves only code with permissive licenses. This prevents future legal issues with code ownership for you or your company. And speaking of companies, they do have an enterprise plan as well, where you can have a completely self-hosted on-premise solution. And the AI agents are personalized and trained on your code base. Now, if you want to set up your own LLM locally, I've made a video for that. You can watch that right over here. Thanks again to Tab9 for sponsoring this video. I will see you all in the next one.